Hi Cancer, it's Joe from Angels and Ancestors. Uh, sorry darling, I got a little bit waylaid with the cat. She decided to be like a freight train walking through the kitchen. Fabulous. Um, darling, this is your What the Fuck reading from the 8th to the 13th. We are back up to normal next week. I'm so pleased. I'm going to try and get the Law of Attraction readings done and up over the weekend. I know they're late and I do apologise, but... I just couldn't face waiting 25 hours for a bloody video to upload and they're much longer than the what the fuck reading so I knew it was going to take and they were taking like 18 hours so the thought of I'm not taking that many darling start again come on um the thought okay let's take that many then the thought of having to sit and wait for a video to upload for 25 hours mm, weren't doing me any favours at all. But it does appear that they've sorted it. It's still not as quick as it used to be. Um, but I am getting a video done in about an hour. So that's not so bad considering it was taking 18 hours. So, Cancer. We had we have Woodwives Adaptability. Um... Darlings, I'm not just getting adaptability. I'm getting that this is an end of a cycle. I'm getting that you're having to adapt for other people. It's almost like you're having to shape shift for other people. It's almost like what I was being shown was, wasn't was adaptability as much as you are bending to accommodate other people. What the fuck are you doing that for? Anyway, it's coming to an end. That cycle is going to finish. Um... And you're going to find yourself in a much better position um, where you are going to have the chance and the opportunity to adapt to your surroundings and to other people rather than bend to everybody's fucking whim. And I am going to say whim because that's what it feels like. It just feels like you are constantly and are bending in the wind. That's what you're doing. You're kind of like, oh my God, well, where am I going to go next, you know? Um, but that cycle is coming in and going out, so just whatever, dust devil. Moving out of stagnation. What did I just say? You're moving out of this. You're whipping up a fucking storm. You've been bending and to everybody's bloody whim and ideas and everything else. And all of a sudden you've conjured up this dust devil storm and it's like a sandstorm and you're just oh my god it's bringing you out of stag and the stagnation isn't what's happening around you it's your stagnation your personal stagnation you've just got stuck in a fucking rut that's coming to an end darling so number six for me is always giving something really precious of yourself to other people and if other people aren't appreciating that yeah, whip up a dust fucking storm. You know, come out of that stagnation. Come out of that feeling that you've got to do it. Because you haven't. You haven't got to keep giving the best of yourself to people who really don't appreciate you. Lost compass. Getting back to integrity. Yeah, it's being truthful with yourself. It's Number eight is communications for me. Always has been. This is communication with self. This is you finding your inner compass this is you finding your soul compass this is you getting back to your pure truth standing in your truth and your power and it is worlds away from this adaptability you are going to be coming out of that stagnation where you're going to be given the chance to be adaptable and not just fucking sway to everybody's whims i mean this is turning out to be a bit of a nice reading isn't it skywriting the fates oh look at the runes in that do you know what? i've not seen this i don't know if i've seen this card before 49 i don't remember it. look the moon is illuminating something for you they're saying come on write what you want in the sky write it in the sky do it with your finger the fates something is waiting for you um not far away and when you break that down it's um a 13 break it down four there's a celebration in the offing 
it's the fate something is coming towards you that is oh so nice and i hate it when people go oh it's cut they're coming towards you. it's coming towards you um done the moon when you look at the moon this is the dark side this is the illuminated side the illuminating side is coming round to you um so i'm kind of getting that um once you've figured out that you've had enough of this shit and you bring yourself out of stagnation i'm got, kind of getting this is going to be a hell of a dust on i'm getting that you're getting to that point where you're like fuck this i'm not putting up with this shit anymore um, and you're getting back into your own truth and power. The illumination for you is going to be massive. It is. It's going to put you right back online where you should be. Rather than where you thought you should be. Oh, the fates. There's something that's destined here. I'm kind of getting the feeling that. If you don't fucking do this for yourself, if you keep down this same line yourself, um, the universe is going to step in and they're going to kick your booty. I do, I really do get that feeling. I'm kind of like, okay. kind of gonna get you're gonna be pushed you're gonna be pushed to the absolute limit and if you don't bloody well sort it out the universe is gonna do it for you so facing your fears and taking your power back what have we got for cancer please thank you Ooh. So what can you do about this situation, Cancer? Let's have a look. What can Cancer do about this situation? Oh, nice. New growth. What's out of your hands? Reconnecting to your true self. I have to say, I think there's a major shift here for you, Cancer. It's either Gemini or Libra that had something similar where they had lots of major arcanas come out and it was like a huge movement for them. Huge shift. I'm not taking that many. Uh, uh, uh. Just said that before and that's taken many anyway. I'm an outcome for cancer, please. Outcome for cancer, please. 8th to 13th of March. my darlings we have got a good start to the week we've got the star card now a lot of people say it's aquarius energy i have no idea about that all i know is that this star the sorry the fairy wants you to step into the waters for healing now this is not normal waters this is not just getting under the shower and letting it wash away like i do every morning and this isn't a bit of reiki with joe blogs down the street this is eternal waters this is waters that renew itself the whole time. And the fairy is saying, come on, get into the waters. Because once you start to heal, your manifestations, your dreams, your wants, your needs will all start to come towards you. And that star will start shining. It will get bigger, but it will start shining really brightly. So darling's facing your fears and taking your power back. Um, I get that you need to protect yourself. I do. You've had a lot going on around you. And I do get that um, you're done. You've slapped your hands on that desk and you've gone, you just fuck off the lot of you. I'm done. These are my ones. I'm protecting my projects, my plans, my people. I'm not dealing with this shit anymore. You can just sod off. Now, that may be you, how you're feeling now. But facing your fears 
is facing up to the fact that people are still going to want to be around you. It's whether or not you decide to change the dynamics of each relationship and how you do that. If you're going to make yourself available to be how you was before, then the dynamics haven't changed. But you really do need to change the dynamics of these relationships to bring yourself out of this overprotection mode you've got yourself into. So taking your power back, facing your fears is actually understanding that's what you need to do. Either change the dynamics or get rid of the people that are around you. Now, the other side of this is when you are taking your power back, it is literally that, it's changing the dynamics so it fits better for you and it is more beneficial to you. If something's not beneficial to you, get rid of it. And I'm going to say to you, this prickly feeling that you've got where people have got you swaying in the wind and at their beck and call, um, you're getting a little... And I think this is coming from the dust storm. This is like... This is how I feel. This is what you're going to take. Either take it or bloody leave it. Um, darlings, when you're facing your fears, don't get so prickly. And when you're taking your power back, don't be so fucking smug. Okay? Just do it gently. Um, you will feel a lot better for it. And the people around you won't feel as exasperated because you're changing the milestones. You're changing the rules of the game. And um, people don't like changes and rules changing and all of that shit. That's just tough. It is tough. They've put you through the ring on back. And I'm getting that this is off the back of the dust storm. Um, but the, the fairy is saying, come on, you can do this. You can heal. You can face this fear. You can take this power back. It is fine. Now, your wish fulfillment, your manifestation and why it may be fucked... You are manifesting like mad to be released from a bind that is holding you back. A self-limitation, a self-restriction. Um, that trap is yours. So why are you laying it again? Why are you trapping yourself again? So what they're saying to you is to achieve what you want, you need to release that trap and go and have some fun. That bear's looking at you going, well, I ain't putting my paw in it. I'm off. I'm going to go and dance with the wood beams. And you're kind of like, yeah, I'll be there in a minute, buddy. It's okay. I'll be there in a minute. No, 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 no. This is what you're manifesting. You are manifesting to bring yourself out of that mode. And in order to do that, you need to release the traps yourself. You need to understand where the traps have come from, why they are there. And then go and have some fun. Release yourself from the binds. Go and have some fun. So your movement, your journey, uh, are where the fuck you need to be. Um, you've got the green man. And it's saying, take that leap of faith. If it's right in front of you. If whatever this fate thing is that's happening around you, that the moon's illuminating for you, take a leap of faith. It will be okay. You've been patient long enough with the three of wands. Massively patient. And you may have to wait again for a little while for this to come for, fully into view. This celebration. If you take that leap of faith, your waiting will be over. It will be over. So what you can do about this situation is allow new growth to come in. You've got the Earth Mother. She's about fertility in all its forms. So it doesn't necessarily have to mean babies although it could mean babies um but what i'm getting is that there is new growth from you know the tiny oak or the seedling to the mighty oak that you get this is new growth it's it's a new way for you to be it's about loving and nurturing and it you know this is reminding you that loving and nurturing is about loving and nurturing yourself first so you're able to offer that out to other people later on down the road. Now, also, Mother Earth, for me, um, for all forms of fertility is also around creation. So you could find that your creative juices, no matter what it is that you do, Cancer, whether you draw, whether you paint, whether you bake, whether you climb mountains, uh, whether you write books and stories, 
do tarot, whatever it is that you do, you're going to find your creative juices are that much better this week than they have been for a while because you are moving out away from this waving around in the wind for everybody else. Do you know, I just heard, they just said to me, being a general dog's body, that's spirit talking. They're saying just being a general dog's body. If that's you, if that's what you've been doing, this reading's definitely for you. If you've been, a, like, I'm not even going to say adapting, because I don't think you've been given the opportunity to adapt. I think that you have just been and swayed to other people's whims completely, and then you're going to get churn up this dust devil, and it's going to give you the opportunity to adapt to your surroundings, which is your healing part. And then you're coming round to this, this opportunity and the Earth Mother together is immense. Because you've got the number one card, which is, you know, you've got a zero card, which is there's no experience. A leap of faith means just that. Don't look for the reasons why. Just fucking do it. The patience that you've shown is going to pay off. It is. Now, that patience could be around projects, plans or people be any of them but there is some patience that you have shown that is going to pay off for you because you are coming into this energy of the earth mother where she is going to protect you nurture you comfort you give you all the nice things in life but you're going to be doing it for yourself because you're going to be releasing the trap that binds you so what is out of your hands this week there is no getting away from it that you may have some options, which means you haven't got your answer. If you've got options in front of you and none of them are blazingly obvious to you as to which way you need to go, then don't choose any of them. Because if they aren't not showing as the answer immediately, then they're not your answer. It's as simple as that. Your eight of chalices are in the upright. People have got you back over this. The sun is shining, but you're scratching your chin going, what the fuck do I do now? Now, if that's how you're feeling, what the fuck do I do now? You haven't got your answer. If you've got options and they seem like good options, and then another option comes along and throws a spanner in the works, you're like, hold on a minute, neither of these are an answer. They're not an answer. It's not an answer till it becomes tangible, till you can actually say that you have made the decision to follow one path and not another that is your answer so it's out of your hands at the moment i'm not even getting the essence that the universe is even working on that because i'm getting that they just want you to understand that having options is not an answer hmm So, my lovelies, reconnecting to your true self, Cancer, I've got the crone, this beautiful creature, she has walked this pathway for many years, even, I'm going to go back even to a previous life, picking up knowledge and wisdom, um, but as she walks, she's got this beautiful companion, which is going to be her guide, her angels, her ancestors, whoever it is. For you, somebody's walking beside you, offering you the strength to continue your important journey. You know that you're here for a reason, but you may not have uncovered the full reason and the extent of why you are here. Um, very often when I get the crone come out and we know that you've walked this earth previously, very often you may be a star seed, a light worker, a healer um all of those nice things and um a lot of people kind of boohoo this but i do urge people to go and have a look at earth angels and i do um especially the younger generation this is for not the earth angel bit but the next bit i'm going to talk about i do ask the younger generation to go and have a look at this because you could be an indigo child a crystal child or a rainbow child Go and have a look the, at the explanations of those. Um, because I do get that, 
you know we choose to come here i've got no idea why we choose to come here um and when we're standing in the crone energy it could be that you have walked this pathway before and without even knowing it you've just picked up where you almost like you've got a wealth of knowledge before you came here and you've relearned that wealth of knowledge really quickly um, and then you've been able to pick up your journey where you left it off in your previous life which is pretty amazing isn't it and you've got the same person the same guide angel or ancestor is offering you the strength to continue your journey in this lifetime that you had in the previous lifetime and a lot of people would explain that away as that is your gatekeeper rather than your um spirit guide i think it's the one of the same two things i think your spirit guide and your gatekeeper is the same person you get lots of spirit guides in different um, genres that come to you at different times in your life but I think your main spirit guide or your gatekeeper whichever you want to call it um, are here with you from the day that you are born and they walk through life with you and I know that guides change but I think your main one for me personally I don't think it does change I think that that stays the same that was specific for somebody wasn't it that was really specific for somebody so my darlings your outcome you've got the witch you've also got the number one in how many out of major arcanas you've got one two three four five six and the bottom of the deck you've got seven major arcanas seven honeys you are in for a massive shift uh i'm not going to say that it's just this week because i think that would be too much for any human being to cope with but there is a shift happening around you. It's going to be huge, Cancer. Huge. The witch. Go back to basics. Tap into what you already know. Tap into the inner you, the, the one that started out. And go back to basics. Learn how to protect yourself again. Learn how to work with the elements and nature again. Do it all over. Get rid of all the paraphernalia. You don't have to throw it out. Just put it in a drawer somewhere. Get rid of it all. Get rid of it all and go back to basics. So if you're a cook and you've got wonderful fucking whizzy kitchen stuff, put it all away for a while and go back to a whisk and a bowl. I swear to God, if you are writing a book and you are using a computer, go back to basics. Write with a pen and paper for a little while. Honestly, just go back to basics. Whatever it is that you are doing... You just need to go back to basics. You need to protect yourself. It is really freeing when you let go of, and let's face it, in the last 40 years, there's been a huge shift um, away from um, being active in what we do to being sedentary to what we do and getting other things. To, and I'm not advocating going down to a stream and doing your washing in a stream that's not what i'm saying what i'm saying is anything that is kind of creative anything that is to do with magic anything that is to do with your spirituality take it back to basics take it back to basics so what's hidden from you darlings at the bottom of the deck you have the Lord and Lady. This is a partnership that is completely equal in every way, shape or form. There is a decision to be made around a partnership. Now, partnerships come in all shapes and sizes. This can be parents and children. It can be children and children. It can be um, children and cousins, children and friends. It, it, there's a whole load of them. It can even be business partnerships. But if you're in a loving, caring relationship, know that there's a decision to be made. If you're not in a loving, caring relationship at the moment, with this massive shift going on, know that somebody is moving in to your energy and it is going to be a celebration. How nice is that, Cancer? So let's get to the Whispering Woods and ask them for some knowledge, wisdom, not knowledge, what am I doing? Ask them to add to the reading for us, honestly. I tell you what, I've had such a way. I've been, I've been busier this week than I've been in two months. And I have to say, I'm exhausted. I just want to go to bed. 
I just want to sleep. And I don't know if I've told you before, but I'm looking at this thinking, oh, wouldn't this be nice? Because my moon's in cancer and I keep looking at the moon card and I keep thinking, oh my God, this would be wonderful. So let me know in the comments if this is how you're feeling, if this is what's happening to you. The tallest oak tree once started as a seedling. Don't be afraid to start something new. Oh my God, I was talking to you about bloody oak trees, about acorns, wasn't I? And an oak tree. Wow, that's amazing. I love it when synchronicities happen. That's what we're supposed to do. So now we can ask the angels and ancestors for some knowledge, wisdom and guidance for the 8th to the 13th. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm not going to put them back. I keep learning my lesson by not putting shit back. Shield maiden, make plans and focus. Stag, trust and thrive. Mountains, stand your ground. Trader, exchange energy to create abundance. And Druid, hold this space. Snake, shed old skin. I'm not surprised that's come out. I am not. This is all your strength up here. And then this is going to be the advice. This is what I'm getting. They've had to show you the strength that you've got. Because you are strong. Um, but they also want you to, to see that you really do need to shed old skin. Let go of the way of how you've been in the past or what no longer serves you and let it go. Heart guardian, love and let yourself be loved. Eagle, see from a higher perspective. Peacekeeper, let go of the need to be right. Now, when you get that card out, that doesn't mean that you're not right. It just means you haven't got the need to rub somebody's nose into it. Earth Guardian, stay rooted and grounded. Magic Guardian, unlock the magic within. Medicine Mother, honour your inner knowing. And Medicine Guardian, be open to healing information. And that last card is like going back to your first card, which is your star card. Cancer, wherever you are, darlings, please be safe and I will catch you in the next reading. Bye for now.